Last lesson, we looked at how to create a pulsing effect on the green LED using a motor tool to create pulse width modulation. This is lesson five, lead waves. As the ocean flows in waves, we'll enhance our lead pulse with a sine motion to generate simple harmonic frequencies. The first thing we need to do is introduce our lookup tool. The lookup tool is useful for creating different tables of data so that we can do things like generate a sine wave or a sawtooth wave. The sine wave represents simple harmonic motion. As you can see, depending on the length, we can have a nice smooth curve or a very sharp and rigid curve. But the problem we have with changing the length is it uses up program memory space. If I create a short curve, it's not very smooth, but it uses less program memory space. We want the highest resolution, so we're going to move it all the way up to 240. And with this value of 240, we need to know that the last value is actually 239. The first value is zero. So we need to use those values in our counter. The amplitude we can use right up to 255 because that number there works nicely with our motor tool. Now with the lookup tool, we also need a couple of file tools. One to put data onto what's called the working register and another one to retrieve data off of the working register. And these three tools will work in conjunction with each other. Now to go further, we need to change our counter so it is counting from zero to 239. And we can also change the register so that it represents a counter. Our file tool will take the data from a file and it will place it on the working register. And we choose this button, F to W. Now we choose the counter and we can annotate on the main tab. And W just stands for working register. So let's update our annotation. So a value of 0 to 239 will go into our lookup table. It will select a value along the bottom. Depending on the value along the bottom from the counter, it will select a value in the amplitude to output on the working register. So as the counter goes up from 0, it will reach a maximum amplitude of 255 and then as the counter continues up toward 180 it will reach a minimum of zero in amplitude and back up to 239 where it has the halfway 127. So now with our second file tool we can use a file to file and we actually want to place from the W onto a file this time. And we're going to create another register called duty. Let's annotate once again. Now it's important that we update our motor tool so that it receives the value from the duty file. So we're going to move things around a bit 
and it will help to cut control X control V and paste our cycle tool and we'll control X control V on our counter and we'll change the order of these and we'll take our file lookup and file tools and we'll place them after the counter now in our cycle tool we'll have to adjust the false and true by clicking on the invert button and click OK so linking these up we're going to go from the output tool that's turning all of our LEDs off through the motor tool into the cycle tool the false node comes back to the motor and the true node goes on to the counter counter goes on to the file tool and the last file tool comes all the way back to the motor now if we've got that right we can hit the program button and we can see it pulsing like it did before but I think we need to slow this down a little to see what it's actually doing let's change that back to 1000 cycles smoothing it down program and we'll see it's now increasing and decreasing in brightness let's align the tools horizontally and distribute horizontally and we should change the label lesson 5 LED waves now make sure you save your work print your work to PDF get your teacher to check it and move on to the next lesson